Hello there, minions. Wheezy here, and today we're gonna talk about how friggin' beastly the ray gun is in Call of Duty Outbreak Zombies. So let's go. Okay, so you guys are gonna want to stick around for all of this one because we are gonna go through the entire pack-a-punch upgrade tree for the ray gun in this game and show you how it performs at all levels all the way through level five on Outbreak. So to start out here, um, level one doing a dragon relic, this is how I actually got the ray gun for this gameplay that I'm using, which is the ray gun is already an extremely rare drop but to get it to drop from a Dragon Relic on level 1, it's the only time I've seen it so far. Not that I've played a ton, but uh, I guess a good place to start is where can you get the Ray Gun. The Ray Gun will drop from the Mystery Box as well as from potentially world events like Dragon Relics, Golden Chests. Uh, it can also drop from killing elite uh, enemies in the world. Um, but again, it is a very rare drop. So uh, here you can see this is shortly after I got it, testing it out against one of the world event uh, radio bosses, which is, you know, a higher level boss even than the ones you encounter in the world there. So this is just the vanilla ray gun, and it pretty much melted the uh, the boss there, the megaton, in both of its forms. So uh, immediately I had enough money, so I went and pack a punched it. So it's the Porter's X2 ray gun, which is what it's been since pack a pun was. Pack a pun. Pack a punch was added to zombies way back in the day. Um, but here you can see the level one pack a punch on the level two outbreak mode is one hitting tempests. Uh, it also one hits, uh, as you'll see here, the manglers. Boom! They just pop. Uh, so, so it's really just the theme of this video is going to be just how insanely good the ray gun is uh, versus any other weapon I've tried and I'm gonna do a separate video on the Ray K uh, I got a good uh, a good long time playing with the Ray K in fact uh, in the video that I'm gonna make with the Ray K I got the Ray K to drop three times in one game of Outbreak uh, which was a little nuts but uh, here I am a level two uh, the uh, difficulty level two just melting a megaton basically in, in two shots for its primary form and then two shots for the, the sub form with a level one pack of punched ray gun. So um, the, one of the cool things to note about the ray gun that uh, it took me a little while to realize is, uh, as you can see me kind of conserving some ammo here using my, uh, my FFAR instead of the ray gun, is that the ray gun will actually pick up ammo off the ground like any normal weapon, unlike the die shockwave or the die machine. Um, so here on level two, I immediately, as soon as I had the money, went to a level two pack a punch and the megaton here, two shots on world three, uh, killing it in each of its forms, two shots with a level two pack a punch uh, ray gun. This thing against elites and specials is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, here is a good example. You'll see a, a Mimic pop out of this box here. Ooh. And an entire mag of level one pack punched FFAR. Took him most of the way down, but, um, you know, finished him off with the ray gun, but he pretty much, I think he probably would have been a one shot with the ray gun uh, vanilla here. Uh, the Tempest here, if uh, there are one shot on level three, like this thing is, is so powerful and so much fun to use. Um, and I wish I'd kind of realized it early on, although I was trying to rank up the FFR, FFAR at the same time as well, is that because ammo drops are so common, um, you can even get them out of crystals and stuff like that, using the ray gun pretty much full time in Outbreak when it drops is absolutely doable. Like there's uh, no reason not to just basically use it all the time because you will be hard pressed to run out of ammo for it. Um, it will, like the other wonder weapons, the die shockwave and the ray, Okay, if you try to buy ammo from the ammo box for them, it costs $10,000, which is super steep versus the $250 it costs for every other weapon. Um, and But again, unnecessary. Um, you, can, you can pick it up from ammo just from killing normal mobs. Um, and for those of you who don't know, 
because uh, I recently learned the die shockwave can regenerate its own ammo by uh, using the left trigger uh, suction feature of the gun to kind of absorb energy from from enemies and recharge its ammo but uh, I may cover that in a separate video as well um, so yeah here here we are in uh, world 3 with a level 2 pack a punch and this thing is still just just plowing through especially elites I mean um, I finally if you see here I got the FFAR pack a punch to level 2 and uh, that kind of in general Kind of the rule of thumb what you want here is by the time you get to really round four it's basically pretty much essential that you're going to get level three pack a punch on your weapons um in round three a level three pack a punch is really nice to have it makes it much easier uh, but it's not really critical level two pack a punch will pretty much get you through round three anything beyond that and you really want to focus on getting the max pack a punch on both your weapons uh, here you can see i picked up a, a shotgun that was already at epic damage uh, i pack a punched it once and pretty effective level three um but compared to what the ray gun will do just just not even close and that's saying something because the shotguns are the most powerful close range weapons in the game so practically practically on-demand wonder weapons the shotguns especially to get them upgraded so um, it can be expensive to upgrade a shotgun to legendary status because it costs you know 12 I think like 1250 uh, components to get it upgraded if you do it through the crafting bench um, versus if you're lucky enough like here to pick up an epic off the ground or if you are blessed enough to get a legendary shotgun to drop in game that saves you so much resources um, so many resources and it only is going to cost you what it costs to pack a punch it to level three so um, if you're not aware a level three pack a punch is 5,000 for level one 15,000 for level two and 30,000 for level three so you know fifty thousand dollars total to go all the way to level uh, three on the pack a punch but um absolutely necessary <laughs> absolutely worth it um, beyond that if you want to go towards higher levels then you can I think start spending that money on that but honestly until you get at least one weapon to pack a punch level three um, I wouldn't bother spending your points on really much else um, it, well your your money I should say your ethereum zombux um, your components and stuff like that you got a little bit more flexibility if you feel like you need to buy armor or do a damage upgrade to like one of your non wonder weapons but um, this game mode really you just kind of have to prioritize the uh, pack a punch machine if you're gonna go past you know round two <laughs> um, in this game mode I exfil after round five um, just to give you an idea and total that was about I think about two hours uh, maybe a little bit more of gameplay. Um, so I exfilled not because I needed to. I had a really uh, decent setup with the uh, ray gun, but um, you know, two hours is enough playtime for me. <laughs> there you see, I missed the tempest, and it blew up that car in the background, which <laughs> made me sad. But uh, yeah, the uh, uh, ray gun here on level four, pack a punch level two. You can see it's less effective against these elites, but I mean, what six shots to take down uh, a Krasny? on on world four that's that's really not bad at all and i haven't even done the top level pack a punch yet um and you can see this legendary ak that i got to drop that i pack a punch to level one just completely outclassed by the ray gun so um yeah if you guys uh, gotten a chance to play around with the ray gun at all in zombies uh you know especially outbreak it's you know like i said very rare it, this actually is the one time i really got uh, to play with it um, and I was lucky enough that it dropped on level one so I was able to, to walk it through all of the levels of upgrades uh, which was which was really nice but um, if you guys have gotten a chance to, to play with the ray gun at all uh, let me know down below what you guys thought because it was I mean an absolute an absolute treat to use here I started to uh, realize I could be a little bit more lax with the with the ammo so I'm using it on normal mobs and uh, to complete objectives and it, it got to the point where it's like, do I even do I even really need another weapon? I mean, maybe if you get cornered or something like that, um, you you might as well. Uh, compared to the Ray K, I mean, it's you know not that the Ray K is is bad. Um, I mean, it's a wonder weapon. However, 
Compared to the ray gun, again, I just still think it's no comparison. Ray gun is just hands down the best wonder weapon that you can get for Outbreak as far as, as, far as I've seen so far. Um, one thing that is interesting to note is, from what I've seen, you know, I don't believe the ray K or the ray gun will drop from the uh, reward station for doing uh, contracts or for trials. And if you complete trials and get a legendary reward, um, it'll drop perks, it'll drop uh, rare uh, epic and legendary weapons. But I haven't seen it drop a ray K or a ray gun. But what it will do is pretty much guarantee you a die shockwave. So from that standpoint, if you manage to get a ray gun drop, either from a world event, a boss, uh, or from a uh, mystery box pull, then you can complete some trials and guarantee yourself basically a die shockwave. And a one-two punch of a die shockwave with its suction ability and its, you know, burst potential, um, and then the power of the ray gun. Uh, that would be a pretty powerful combination, although the issue with the Die Shockwave is it cannot be upgraded in Outbreak. Um, it cannot be pack-a-punched unlike the Ray Gun, so again, the Ray Gun is far more powerful. Um, but that's an option. If you if you manage to get either the Ray K or the Ray Gun 2 drop, you can basically do a, a double Wonder Weapon combination almost guaranteed uh, using the Trials. And you'll see actually here in just a moment, um, after I kill a Megaton, I actually happen to get a die shockwave to drop from a megaton so um i briefly considered picking it up but decided not to decided to stick with my uh my other uh, my legendary ak i think is what i still had uh, at the time but but yeah i mean if they're a way other than just basically spending you know as much money as it takes to get it to drop from the mystery box um you know it can't really guarantee that you will get a ray gun to drop uh, the way that you can with a die shock wave. Um, also, like I said, in the game where I got three different ray case to drop in the same game, it seems like the drop rate on that is either higher or, you know, who knows? I mean, it's not quite enough to do a statistical sample and know how likely it is to get one over the other, but uh, here we've still got the level two pack a punch ray gun on difficulty five and um, took me a reload because of some misses and some other zombies, but. Uh, got to do a, a golden chest sold at with basically, you know, one clip. So, you know, took 20, 30 shots, but to be able to kill these specials and elites without reloading, I mean, this, this gun is by no means going to uh, allow you to just kind of easy mode through these levels. You can see it's, you know, still getting overwhelmed a little bit. I still had to use a, uh, a stim shot to kind of keep myself from going down there, and you'll actually see during my exit, I, I do manage to go down inside of my um, uh, Ring of Fire, although it hadn't been upgraded to level uh, 5 yet. But, uh, but it's just so much more powerful than really anything else uh, that there is, even compared to a fully upgraded uh, Hauer, the pump-action shotgun, which is, as far as I can tell, the next most powerful weapon in the game. Uh, this this ray gun is just is just ridiculous. So here again another Krasny. I just basically in this whole game mode, all the specials and elites that I shot just to give an example of how it worked. This is the guy actually uh, that dropped. You can't really see it because it's under his body, so I kind of dig it out here. But he actually dropped uh, the die shockwave <laughs> there. So I'm like, can I move the body out of the way? What what can I do? So I just picked it up and, and tried to do the old uh, okey doke to scoot him out of the way, but. Yeah, so there I could have I could have gone with the one two with the die shock wave and the ray gun. Um, I did decide against it. Uh, decided instead to focus on going in and getting the level three. But uh, here I ran right in, got cornered, um, so had to pop a stim shot. But uh, now I have the level three ray gun, and I was like, oh man, if I go down <laughs> with the level three ray gun, I'm gonna be pissed. But it uh, it got me out of there, out of a, a decent little trap, and um, so. On level five here, I think I had done everything. Uh, I'd done the world events, uh, and all that was really left to do was the objective. So uh, I will show that, but just kind of testing out the power of the pack a punched level three ray gun here. So this is the ultimate form of the ray gun. This is the most powerful version you can get, 
and so yeah this is it on difficulty level five and it's basically um, what I was experiencing here is it was three shotting tempests two shots would put them down to just a sliver of health as you'll see there and I'll, I'll do it to another one um, but it took three shots it was almost a two shot there's one and then misses, misses, two, and he's just a sliver. One thing, to, another thing to note about this is the travel time on the ray gun as well as the ray K for the bullets. It is very slow. The muzzle velocity is very slow for these. So if your targets are moving, you do have to lead them a significant amount. Um, with the ray gun, it's less of an issue just because each shot is so powerful. You only have to land a couple of hits. I found it to be significantly more irritating with the ray K because of how much you had to lead targets and the fact that it required 10, 15, 20, you know, 30 shots to kill uh, specials and stuff like that. It just, I didn't love the Ray K the way that I love the Ray Gun. If you're a bit more spray and pray, a little bit less accurate, maybe maybe you'd like it more, but the, the Ray Gun is, is really, <laughs> if you were given the option, which you're not, would be the way to go. If uh, you do get in a situation uh, where you do have to choose, maybe you get both of them to drop in a game. Hands down, go with the Ray Gun. It is, it is just... An absolute monster. So here we've got the HVT. I decided this would be the, the best test before I try and expo with this thing because this is a, you know, HVT Megaton boss on difficulty 5, pack punch level 3. And there you can see, I forget exactly what it I think it takes about 5 or 6 hits. Um, and there may have been a couple misses in there, but you'll see it here again. He's There's three stages to the HVT 2, 3, 4, 5. I might have missed a couple there, but it's basically 6 shots to take the HVT through an entire phase, right? Like, that's incredible. <laughs> you know, just to line him up, you know, put six out of 40 shots into a round boss to move him to the next phase, which means the, you know, the total for the HVT, if you hit all your shots, is what? Like, less than 20 shots? Um, actually, that'd be for the main three forms, then he splits into the other two, and it takes, you know, a couple more shots for that. So what? about one magazine worth of ray gun ammo to take down the HVT. Like, can it get any better than that? So yeah, here you go. The third form, about six hits to get him to split. Maybe a couple more. I mean, there were some misses there. You know, I'm hip firing this thing uh, just to keep my visibility up. And they split. I throw down a C4, which does, you know, not... Well, I guess it did a decent amount to those guys. Not, not a crazy amount. And then mop him up with the ray gun. So yeah, ray gun. Elites. Specials, absolutely beast. So uh, here uh, is my X fill. I decided for level five after, like I said, about I could have kept going with this thing because it's such a powerful setup. Uh, but after two hours of gameplay, I was just like, you know what? I want X fill, get my extra flawless crystal, and uh, just get the f out of here. Unfortunately, uh, level five, a bunch of these tempest spawns, which makes using a vehicle to get to the X fill almost impossible. I mean, there's just so many tempests, and they immediately disable your vehicle. Um, I kind of cut a part out of this X-Fill 2 when I was running, and I got in another vehicle that also got disabled by the Tempest. But but just a healthy amount of sprinting and a healthy application of Ray Gun did kind of carry me through. Here I dropped my Ring of Fire, but of course I can't quite stand in it. My armor's already broke, and so here I get mobbed. Rain, the Ring of Fire does not quite bail me out, but managed to use my Self-Revive, pop up, and it's just, I mean, the damage it's doing is absolutely incredible. Um, but man, I almost went down again, and uh, that would have been that would have been no bueno. So yeah, the the ray gun not a not an automatic win. Uh, you do still have to be smart, but but it is quite quite the force to be reckoned with. So clearing out the exfil here, I've got a sold out. Now that I've cleared out most of the zombies, this guy's just a breeze. I mean, what was that? Ten shots, maybe to take him out. Mop up a couple little zombies. Boom boom. And the chopper is happy to get me the F out of here as, uh, as I hop on the side with my, my little ray gun across my chest there. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, how you get the ray gun, how you do all the upgrades, and how it performs against all of your specials and elites and even zombies uh, going through difficulty level 5. So uh, highly recommend you guys check it out. Three flawless crystals in that, uh, six refined, eight raw. Uh, if you found that useful, if you enjoyed that ray gun footage, uh, leave me a like. If you hate ray guns, then leave me a dislike. And I, I don't know why you would hate ray guns, but, you know, maybe just because you haven't got one yet. So kind of follow this video. Go get yourself one and go have some fun.
Subscribe to be a minion, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.